Welcome. Tonight we're going to be finding reference angles for these angles right here. And reference angles, of course, are uh, comparable angles on the first quadrant. And um, basically, I'm going to give you guys a, a simple little formula for angles in different quadrants. So, for example, in the second quadrant, uh, we can just uh, subtract the angle that we're given from 180 degrees to obtain the reference angle. If we're in the third quadrant, we should actually subtract 180 from the angle that's given. And finally, here on the third quadrant, we can subtract it from 360 degrees. So let's see how that's going to work. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll try to explain this um, why this works uh, later. Hopefully it'll make sense. <laughs> okay, so being that 135 degrees is on the second quadrant, right here, um, we can just subtract it from 180. So 180 degrees minus 135 degrees. That's just equal to 45 degrees, which is the reference angle for 135. Simple as that. And why is that? Let me explain why I have 180 degrees there. And I'm subtracting x from it. Because basically, this angle right here is the 135, right? And the reference angle is actually just going to be the angle between the terminal arm and the x-axis. So this is the reference angle. We'll call it theta. So if this is 135 degrees, I can actually just subtract 135 from 180, which is the whole thing, to obtain theta. So 180 minus 135 is just 45 degrees. Um, okay, so now 225 is on the third quadrant. So I'm going to have to use this little formula here. So 225 minus 180 this time will give me, again, 45 degrees. Huh. Okay, so the reference angle for 225 is also 45 degrees. And let's take a look why. So this is, let's pretend that this is 225 degrees right here. Oops, on the third quadrant. The reference angle again is going to be the, the angle between the terminal arm and the x-axis. So it's going to be this angle here, theta, in this case. So 180 is the whole thing here, from here to there, of course, half the, half the circle. And if I want to find out what this little guy is, this theta, I can just go 225, the whole thing, minus 180. Okay, how about 240 degrees? It's also on the third quadrant, so I can use the same formula. 240 minus 180 is 60 degrees. So that's the reference angle right there. Finally, we have 330 degrees, and that's on the fourth quadrant, right here. And now I'm going to have to use this little formula to find the reference angle. So 360 minus 330, 30 degrees. And that's the reference angle for the last angle. And how come? Let's see. Again, let's say that it's uh, about here. The circle is getting kind of messy. And let's say that it's this is 330. Again, the reference angle is just going to be um, this angle right here, the angle between the terminal arm and the x-axis. So I'm going to call it m right now, just to not to call it theta again. <laughs> and um, basically, 360 minus 330 is going to give us m, because it's just what is left from um, from 330 basically to form 360. So if we subtract 330 from 360, we get the reference angle of 30. Hopefully that made good sense, and I have more videos explaining the similar concepts and more at this website. Um, again, thank you for watching.